a defeat for any leader will affect their, their leadership. But what I've received from the party is significant support and assurance. Um, I think people recognize where we are. And uh, amazingly, people are willing to redouble their effort and work. As I said earlier, it is an indication that the party is still strong, the base is still strong, you can still want to participate, that we have seen an increase in the number of applications for membership. I think, I think this defeat has been a wake-up call for many persons who did not participate in the election and now feel that their non-participation could have had an effect on the changing of the course on which we had embarked, which they supported, but just never felt the need to come out and exercise their vote. So in a, in a sense, the Labour Party will benefit in the long term from an influx of new persons, new ideas, and a new thrust towards governance. I want to send a strong warning to the government. Don't touch tuition-free education. Don't touch free health care. It is a retrograde step if it is done. There is an argument being floated around that those who can pay should pay. Jamaica would seem to have forgotten that that is the system we had before. And it created havoc in the education system. The system we now have works.